Is this girl holding a tray of Fiji water the first meme of 2019? By the looks of the reaction to her on Twitter, I'm gonna say yes. Unless you've been asleep for 24 hours, you'll know what happened at the Golden Globes. Glittery harnesses, Satan worship, and a Sandberg O roasting weren't enough to beat an unknown person holding bottles of water to the headlines. We now know the girl is Kellef Cuthbert. She's a model with a sizable following, which is growing quickly. Her red carpet sass even had people calling for her to win a role of Best Supporting Actress, which maybe goes to say something about the state of the film and TV industry. Either that or about the power of the internet. But is that enough to thrust her into a life of meme stardom and beyond? Let's take a look at some past examples to find out. Remember Salt Bay? Of course you do. It was only two years ago that Nuzret got Chase salty elbows sprinkled their way into our lives. And where is he now? Well, he's rubbing his salty elbows with Hollywood's finest, serving them gold steaks in his successful chain of restaurants. I'm worried about his blood pressure though. Okay, how about Jeremy Meeks? You'll probably remember him by his other name, Hot Felon. Yeah, you know, the guy that was charged with robbery but was offered a modeling contract while still in prison because his mugshot went viral. Well, he's since walked in fashion weeks around the world and has a son with Chloe Green, the daughter of Philip Green. What a family. Finally, 13-year-old Danielle Brigoli went viral for saying, cash me outside, how about that, on Dr. Phil. Ignoring the fact that she was there with her mum who said, I want to give up my car-stealing, knife-wielding, twerking 13-year-old daughter, Danielle has done pretty well as a musician. In her music video, she stood on a Rolls Royce holding a wad of dollar bills. Her mum will be disappointed that she's still twerking, though. You win some, you lose some. So there you go. History would say Kellith has a whirlwind 12 months ahead of her. Let's just hope she remembers her humble beginnings and doesn't let that Fiji water go to her head. It's 2019 and you know what I think we need. A film about a white, plastic, blonde, rich, traditionally beautiful woman. Breaking news, Margot Robbie will be starring in a live action Barbie movie due to be released in 2020. Margot Robbie, tell me more. Yep, Margot is lined up to play the iconic doll in a live action film. Granted, the movie has no name or director or release date, but we're allowed to be excited, right? A Barbie film has been in the works for some time. Back in 2017, Amy Schumer was in the running to jump behind the wheel of the famous convertible, but pulled out due to scheduling conflicts. Anne Hathaway was also linked to the role last year, but Mattel, the company who own Barbie, have come to an agreement with Warner Brothers and they definitely want Margot to play the part. And I can't for the life of me see why. Look, everyone knows about the negative stereotypes that Barbie represents. The doll was first brought out in 1959. It represents old fashioned views of gender, image and class. And don't even get me started on all that single use plastic. But Margot's known for her strong, powerful characters. So maybe she'll break out of the traditional box, metaphorically. Some Twitter users aren't sure though. In a statement, Margot said playing with the doll promoted confidence, curiosity, and communication. I'm not entirely sure she was using it properly, but her heart's definitely in the right place. So we'll have to wait and see how the film develops, but I think the next task will be finding the Ken to Margot's Barbie. And in the name of challenging stereotypes, I know one guy who's keen for the role. <clears throat> Hands up, who woke up this morning and saw Twitter going mad for a Blackpink world tour and thought something along the lines of, they're actually coming to London on my <laughs> God, I'm gonna cry. Turns out lots of you did, and it also turns out a small handful of you guys thought, who the <laughs> the Blackpink? Well, Oran, let me tell you. Blackpink are a South Korean girl group formed by YG Entertainment with 14 million Instagram followers, 17 million YouTube subscribers, almost 600 million views on one video alone, and now the announcement of a world tour. They're probably the biggest band that you've never heard of. They're made up of Jenny, the main rapper and vocalist. She's also known as the princess of YG. Then there's Jisoo, a lead vocalist too. Lisa is the main rapper and lead dancer and the youngest member of the group. And last but not least, Rose. She was born in New Zealand and is now the main vocalist and lead dancer. The group launched in 2016 with their Square One EP and have since released further EPs and their full Japanese studio album, In Your Area, which coincidentally is the name of their world tour. Their biggest single, Do 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 Do, made history as the highest charting song ever from a K-pop girl group on the Billboard Hot 100. They've also got their own TV show, were nominated for a Teen Choice Award and are making history by playing at Coachella. Oh, and they've collabed with Dua Lipa, obviously. As with every global sensation, their army of fans have a name, but you can only call yourself an official blink if you've committed to a life of standing. So, Oran, are you in? <laughs>